welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. How can we help you this afternoon? My wife, uh, she goes to this uh, tire store that advertises full service and everything. So I go in, I need my oil change. They say, well, have a seat. And they did everything but offer me a latte while I'm sitting there. And I told them all I want to do is get my oil changed. And next thing I know, I'm sitting there a half hour wait. And the guy comes in and he tells me, well, they're going to change the oil, but I need uh, two new tires. One thing led to another, and I ended up almost getting in a fight and leaving. A few months later, I had an occasion to go into a highly reputable dealer and have my service done, but I was told, no, I didn't really need two new tires. They'd rotate them and they'd be fine. When you go into these tire stores, is it true that many of them have a second outlet somewhere where they basically do nothing but sell used tires and make as much money on those as they did on the first ones they sold you? When you go into even a dealer service department or a tire or a Jiffy Lube or any place you take your car in, everybody's on commission. From the time you go in the door, the uh, the person that greets you in the service drive is paid on commission. The technician that uh, does the work on your car, he's paid on commission. The service manager that everybody works for is paid on commission. Of course, the owner, he works on a profit. So when you hire people in the service uh, business, you have to be sure you've got people with integrity and ethics that care for customers because it's so easy to take advantage. And you were sharp enough uh, to realize that you're being bamboozled uh, to at least question uh, what they were trying to sell you, these tires. And a lot of people just take it that faith, and they get uh, taken advantage of every day. Uh, particularly, uh, you see it with a lot of elderly people. Um, I see it a lot with people in their 70s and 80s, you know, the a widow. Never, never took a car in for service. Her husband passed away uh, a few years ago, and uh, they're having to do a lot of things that they never had to do their whole life. So it's a tough business out there, and it's buyer beware. And you did the right thing. You questioned him. You went to a reputable uh, company and had somebody tell you the truth. And then when you find somebody like that, stick with them and take your car there for service. Don't go back in to the uh, tire store again.